starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles. Hi. I'm just coming in with a quick update today on my selfless sewing plans. Um, so if, you see, if you've not seen my first video about that, I'll um, add a link into it now. Um, but ultimately it's about um, making stuff for other people instead of making it for myself because I've just simply got too many clothes to wear and not enough days in the year to wear them in. Um, so I've been uh, planning some makes for friends and family and I'm going to share how I'm getting on with them. So you did see in the last video the little girl's dress that I made um, and the next thing that I've completed is my husband's, I think they're called Jedediah um, pants, the shorts version. So here they are. There's the front and that's the back. A little bit more close-up detail in a second but what I'll do first is just insert a couple of photos of the hubby wearing them. He didn't pull his face at all either when I asked him if he'd do a little bit of modelling in the garden wearing these. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about um, making these. Um, it, I really really enjoyed making these actually. Um, they came together really really well. His waist and hip measurement was different. He was the size bigger in the waist than he was in the hips so I had to grade the pattern um, but that was really quick and easy to do and then sewing them um, was uh, not easy I'd say they are more of an advanced there's some techniques like sewing a, a, a zip um, zip and fly um, and so doing the top stitching on the pockets etc um, but they are um, you know not not out of reach at all um, if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions they, they come together really well now the instructions that come in the pattern itself aren't that detailed it's really just written instructions with the odd diagram or two um, but they have got a really detailed step-by-step -step sew along on their um, blog so um, it, I'll put a link in the video notes um, but I would definitely recommend if you're going to make these um, head off to the sew along and um, do that rather than going off the instructions in the book. So let me just come in a little bit closer and show you the details. I've done some top stitching on the fly and I'll just show you inside it is a, a fly zip, lap, lap zip, whatever you call them. I love the shape of the pockets and they're nice and deep. I have gone for the shorts version and turned them up at the bottom. And then on the back, you've got the jeans patch pockets, which has got the top stitching. So I have used um, like proper top stitch thread um, to give that um, proper jeans look. So the hubby was really, really pleased with these. Um, they do fit him really well and when I asked him what he thought of them, he said they're spot on they are. So hopefully that's a positive and I hope that he wears them. Um, so yeah, that was the first make. The next thing is um, the hat that I was making for my dad. So just as a reminder, it is the, what's it called? Else when or else else I think it says else when. Um, I'll put again. I'll put a link in the notes if you didn't catch that on the last video. Um, and it is the Peaky Blinders hat. Um, the picture that my dad asked me to make one like. Um, I'll see if I can find a, a picture of the main character on Peaky Blinders. And this was the type of hat that he wanted. But he, wanted one made from a waxed cotton and I got some lovely waxed cotton from Guthrie and Garney um, and I've made the navy blue 
version for my dad again I'll bring it in closer and show you in a second um, this is too big for me but just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on and then he wanted them um, where you can kind of wear it in different directions like wear it on to the side and stuff like that and um, so yeah that is uh, really too big for me um, but it gives you an idea so I'm just going to come in and show you some details okay so it's an eight panel cap and um, so you can see there you top stitch each panel so yeah you top stitch along each panel and then on the inside I've lined it with the same fabric that I made my husband's shorts from um, and then what I've also done, sorry I've got it upside down, is I've added a um, embroidered uh, freehand embroidery label um, just to make it a little bit more personal so it just says dad's hat I put a self covered button on the top and I finished the inside finished it by hand um, but I used a um, cotton tape to finish it along the inside and this fabric is uh, is is great it's um, perfect for this style of hat I think thanks so much to everybody who shared ideas on what I could use in the oh I still don't know if it's called a beak or a peak or but the bill <laughs> whatever it is that it's called this bit here um, loads of people gave me lots and lots of ideas for what to use um, and what I tried with this one is a few people had suggested um, handbag interfacing but the really really um, strong stuff I'll grab it in a second so I can show you that's I'll grab it now this is it so it's handbag interfacing but it's really really stiff um, and what I did is I cut the um, uh, peak out with that and I did it four times so I, I layered it up four times and then just stitched them together before I inserted it into the cap and it's worked out okay I'd say it's still perhaps a, a little bit lightweight um, I would like something that's a little bit stiffer than what it is um, but it certainly worked out okay and I think what I may do is just get caps from the charity shops and try um, using them but then I'm not sure if they're going to be too rigid and whether I'll be able to manoeuvre it um, underneath my sewing machine so it might cause some sewing troubles as well um, but yeah th this, this, this interfacing stuff has worked out okay and that's it so I just wanted to share with you how I'm getting on I've really enjoyed it actually really enjoyed sewing stuff for other people and um, so what I've got to make next is um, my friend's pippy dungaree dress and my mum's cardigan and t-shirt but I'm waiting for a replacement blade for my overlocker before I start my mum's stuff because I'll just sew that using the um, overlocker so that is it thank you for stopping by and Just I will see you soon. Bye. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Now my feet.